the football community on Instagram is so bad. So fucking bad. Man. So, my name is Cameron Corp. I'm 20 years old and I run the Instagram account called Power and Precision. We're a football based group. We post all our own content. Um, very occasionally we'll share content which has been given to us by followers because they've used our hashtag. Um, and today I'm going to be talking to you about my problems with the platform and in particular the creators. So the word creator probably has lots of different, different definitions for different people. For me on Instagram in the football community a creator is somebody who captures their own content whether it's videos or photos, uploads it and shares it with the world and their followers because it's what they have made and they want to share. Nowadays in 2018 we as creators are overshadowed by fake creators I'm going to call them. So about two years ago the algorithm on Instagram changed drastically and long story short when creators and users post pictures and videos it's now not delivered to every single person who follows that account it's now only delivered to a certain percentage and basically the engagement on all your posts on people's posts has declined followers are declining likes are declining all of that bullshit is is going down okay but that's something that we can't change so what one solution to that problem from a lot of creators was to post content that wasn't theirs um, and credit it, which is fine, but do it, you know, frequently, quite a lot, to the point where it was excessive and now there is no content from these creators that is theirs because they've now just become sharing pages that post the best of the football community um, and viral posts and I'm fucking sick of it and I know I'm not the only one when I say that. Why does it piss us off and why does it really annoy me? Because these pages are excelling and growing at a stupid rate and they've got three, four, five times the amount of followers of, as, as me and other creators but what they're doing and what they're posting is not their stuff. So Imagine creating a page where you handpick the best videos off of all the real creators like me and the people that I'll probably come to mention in a bit. Imagine handpicking all of our best content, putting it onto one page and then gaining loads of followers it because people want to see the best of the best. I don't have a problem with that. That's fine. You're a page. What annoys me is the people behind these pages that are claiming to still be creators and then they'll hassle you, the actual creator, for contacts for brands because they think, oh, I've got 500,000 followers, I should have a fucking pair of Nike boots. No, you shouldn't. Because what you're doing is not your stuff. Now, there's a few categories to sort of break all this reposting and viral post down uh, and I'm going to do my best to sort of give you my thoughts and views on it. Sharing other content really pisses me off right now in 2018 because when I get a piece of my content shared, which is rare, I don't get anything from it, from these pages that have got way more followers than me. Back in the day, four years ago, if I got shared on Sport Bible or Visible or Sporf, I'd gain like two, three thousand followers, loads of likes, loads of comments, and that was all real people that had an interest in what I do because these pages that shared you they shared the people that used their hashtag that had great skill and they wanted to show that to their audience that is cool no problem with that nowadays if I get shared on a creators page uh, that just repost everything this is something along the lines of what the description will say my video will be there the description will say check out these crazy knuckleball free kicks tag a mate who can't do this rate them 1 to 10 and then it will be a picture, a camera emoji and it will say at power and precision. Bullshit. People watching that video aren't going to be reading all of that to then see me at the bottom and what you've just done is taken my video and put your own description to it, bigging up the video, not me. So 
Some very few select pages credit correctly and in the way that I appreciate and respect. And they'll put something like, check out these crazy knuckleball free kicks from Pound Precision, follow them to see more. That's cool, you're supporting me, you've recognised, that's good content, I want to share that because I think my audience will want to see it and it will perform well, and I'm also going to give back to you by trying and directing some followers to your account. That's fine, what's wrong with that? And the people that normally do that are the people that are like my friends, who create all their own content and then occasionally share. Can you see the difference? There's a difference between basically robbing other content, not crediting properly, and then gaining from it. That's what that, that's the bit that annoys me is the gaining, right? I'm not saying I want a million followers. Of course I do, but I'm not saying that's not the point. I'm not saying I want to be major successful. What I don't like is my content and other people's original content being used for someone else's growth. That's wrong. And then those are the sort of people that will ask for the opportunities that we're getting and they'll question why they don't because all they see is followers, likes and bang, they should be successful and get what we get. No, that's not how it works and that's bullshit. These pages uh, and I, 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 creators, that's what fucking does it for me is they they call themselves creators, their bio says they're like, I, I don't know, like a creator at YouTube or they're, you know, a, a football group or a, a football channel. No, you're not. You're not a creator, and if you try and justify to me, and so many of them do, not just to me, to people, to the world, you cannot justify posting other people's content and getting the benefits for it. Uh, what, what, uh, what gets me is like, there's pages that have got double, triple the amount of followers that I get. And, and this isn't just like two or three, this is like tens of accounts that have got this, okay? And they'll post the best videos from around the world, whether it is by people like me, or it's like of professional footballers or game highlights, something like that, they'll post that. What are we in, right? Saturday, 26th of May, it is today, when I filmed this. So six days have been in this week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Christ, you know what I mean. Six days this week, okay? I, and this is not me shitting you, I've seen the same video of Zlatan Ibrahimovic treading on someone's foot, um, or like a highlight montage of all his bad moments in the MLS, I've seen the same video about a dozen times on all of these pages. That is what is killing the community. Not just posting that sort of video, but just every other page posting the same content because it gets views, because it gets them a few follows. You're destroying, destroying the original creators like me, like many others. And for what? For, for, because you're you're too busy to go and film your own stuff because you don't have the products to do it do your own content get recognized for doing something good you shouldn't give a shit about your followers not the people that follow the number I don't care about the number of followers I have I wouldn't care if I had 10 followers or 10,000 or 100,000 I care about making my own content delivering it to the world and at the end of the day looking at it and being like I'm happy with that, I'm proud of that, and I'm really happy when I get a lot of likes, and I'm really happy when I get a lot of comments saying great video, and I'm really happy when I get followers and I make friendships and contacts with people because they enjoy and respect what I do because I'm being original and I'm being a creator. Now, what I'm going to try and do, as I said, is break down sort of segments uh, and, and, and sort of, I don't know how you word it, just categories. So, I just don't like the whole creators not being creative. You're not a creator, you're not a YouTuber, and you're not an Instagrammer, like, a, original creator, if you're not making an effort to do stuff yourself. Give me excuses. I dare you. Tell me that you've got school, that you've got college, that you've got work, that you don't have new football boots, whatever. So what? I went to school for two years while I've been doing this. I started with nothing, and the reason I posted stuff was because I just wanted to share what I do with my friends and the world. Of course I want to be big, of course I want this to be my job, but I didn't think, oh, if I can't make it with my own content, I'll use other people's. I just wanted to keep doing my own stuff because I enjoyed it, and that's the difference, and that is what I think so many of these sharing pages do not understand. They don't have the ground principle, principle of, like, passion and desire for something. I do what I do 
because I enjoy it and I love it. I don't do it to make brands happy, I don't do it to get followers, and I sure as hell don't do it because people want me to do it. I do it because I want to. If I don't want to post for a week, I won't post for a week. If I want to post four times in a day, I'll post four times in a day. Do you get what I'm getting? Do you, do you see what I'm getting at? There's a difference in why we post our own stuff. So if you're going to say you don't have time to do stuff but you don't want to lose your followers so you're going to post some other content, bullshit. You've got no excuse. You have got no excuse. If you want to, if you've got a passion for uploading and creating content and you want to be a YouTuber and an Instagram or whatever, then, you know, get your head out your ass and go and do your own stuff because you want to. And if, if you're reluctant to do that or you're a bit questioning me on that, then you've just proved my point, which is you want to see the likes and followers and you're scared that your content won't do that because you've subjected your audience into such a state that they see your page as like the best of football videos, you're scared that your original videos will underperform and you'll delete them or you'll archive them because you don't want people to see shit videos and shit photos. That's the difference. You've built an image of the best of the best and then you're calling yourself a creator. No. <laughs> it doesn't work like that. And that's what sucks. Anyway. A few other little things. Clickbaiting. Clickbaiting two, two categories to it. Number one, you can clickbait to exaggerate something, which I can understand and I've done before, not too big of a deal. And basically that means, say I post a video of insane knuckleball free kicks, I might make the thumbnail a little bit exaggerated, so I might make the ball movement look really stupid. But the video is knuckleball free kicks and there is a bit of movement, cool. What I don't like and what I cannot stand and really, really grinds my gears, and I know it's not just me, is people that clickbait thumbnails which means make custom thumbnails for a video that is not the video. So I see videos like um, an iron pressed against a football as the thumbnail, and then the whole video is a geezer juggling and kicking a couple free kicks. What's that? What is that? And he's getting two, three, four hundred thousand views on the video, gaining followers. For what? How? Ugh, man, that's not cool. That's just so sick and crap. And that drives creators like me. I've got friends that have stopped doing what they do. They've stopped creating. They've stopped uploading and playing football because they're so sick and tired of this whole community. There are very little original creators and the ones that are, I love them, respect them and that's why I follow them. And I know, I know that I'm speaking on behalf of them and they agree with what I say. And I'm not saying they don't have the balls to say it, I'm just saying I do. I, I've, I'm, I'm too bored of this. It's gone on for too long. And I'm speaking up about it and I'm proud I'm speaking about it. And I hope that this opens people's eyes. But anyway, moving on. Edits. Can't stand edits. When people download on, like a YouTube video of a footballer, a football creator, and they put their own edit together, and then they'll upload it, put the description, explain what the video is, and then they'll put edited by and tag their own page and then and then they'll get the credit for it and like underneath they'll put original video by so and so that's bullshit you've downloaded someone's video put your own edit and then you're putting yourself higher up than the original creditor to get credit so like for example I've been putting free kick montages for one of my free kicks the original video that was edited says like insane free kicks edited by so and so straight away they've put themselves at the top but then below that they've put 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and they've credited all the original people that feature in the video. But a big page comes along, sees that video, they read the top line, it says edited by, bang, they get the credit. And then I've seen that same video shared on all the big pages, but with no credit to me at all. And I'm the one in the video. Do you see what I'm getting at? How is that fair on us? I don't want to go around in circles, but I think you start, I'm hoping you get the point. Creators are not being creators. Ah, oh, I've just deleted a note. Ah, oh, sorry, I've got it back. Um, just peeling off a few of my notes here. General bullshit, I think, sums up this whole discussion. Um, it's just the need for likes and followers. There's more opportunities and, and, uh, and contacts. If you do your own stuff and be original, followers aren't everything. And the other thing that gets me is when people try to justify their actions and they try and justify why posting other content is good or what good it is for their page. It's not good. 
you're killing us. Take it from me personally. Your pages that are outgrowing us and using my content and not crediting me properly and I'm not getting anything from it, yet you're getting the followers. That is killing me. That is killing others and you're killing the community. There's no other way around it. I'm not going to beat around the bushes. It, you're very, like, these people are very self-centred, narrow-minded and not very courteous or respectful to the real creators. Um, I would peel off a load of names of people that I love, but I think they all know who they are. And I'm pretty sure if you agree with what I'm saying, you're probably one of me. You, you probably are original creator, so there's no need for me to go and uh, name drop for all the people that I respect. And nor am I going to say pages and accounts that I don't like that I'm talking about. I'm sure you can probably use this as an evaluation against what you do and judge whether you think what you're doing is good for the community or negative for the community. Um, as I said, I think I've sort of touched on everything. If I haven't, then maybe I'll make another video doing it. Uh, I just quickly browsing through these notes. Just, yeah, YouTubers who like share and claim credit. So, like, pages that do that, just claim credit for, the, for stuff that isn't theirs. Just fuck off. It's not cool. Really not cool. Um, thumbnails and clickable stuff. I've gone over all that. Yeah. It's just, I feel like as original creators, we're getting punished. We're going out, busting our asses, coming up with creative ideas for them to get, what, five, six thousand views, two thousand likes, but then a, then another page that all they do is share stuff and claim they're a creator comes along, oh, that's a cool video, I'll have that. I'll credit them below, but I'll have that for my page. Two, three hundred thousand views, twenty, thirty thousand likes. How's that fair? And what do I get from that? Because you've credited me so low down in your description, no one sees it's me, nor does anyone give a shit. So, I'm not going to get any followers from it. But anyway, that's... I think I've touched on everything. Um, and I'd be really interested to hear what you guys think. Whether you agree with me, whether you disagree with me, whether you think you're like me or you're complete opposite to me and what I've been talking about. Let me know because I really want to hear your thoughts. Uh, if, this is, if this goes down well, maybe I'll do some form of like podcast or discussion thing with other YouTubers and creators on the platform and we can sort of discuss our experiences and just opinions of what's going on. But I just want to end this video with like a message to those channels. You're killing the community. You're killing what is left of the community. Not everything is about followers and likes. And stop being so selfish. Respect others. Respect the creators that you're using content from. Respect us. Credit us properly. Treat us as we deserve to be treated, you know, like it's not hard to praise someone. It's not hard to shout someone out or direct people in the right direction. It's not hard. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this video wasn't too long. Um and yeah, we will hopefully speak about this soon. Take care.